All right, welcome footy adventure fans to Mukbang Market Watch. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the mini cheesecake cones. So what's in here, almond Florentine cones filled with a creamy cheesecake filling. And you only get four in a container, so be careful. Today's stock we're talking about is going to be ticker ZN, Zion Oil and Gas, Israeli stock. If you have Weeble, uh, definitely wake up at 3 in the morning and catch up with this ZN stock. It does uh, uh, correlate to Israel time and uh, U.S. time. It's affiliated with Israel and Houston and also Dallas. So basically, this is still kind of an American stock as well. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is going to be a good stock to invest in right now at 39 cents. It might not be 39 cents by the time you wake up. But if you have Weeble, you, Weeble, you can trade in the morning at 3 a.m. as early as you want to try to make sure you catch up with what's going on in the stock, whether it's going up, down, whatever. But I have high belief that it's going to go up. We're going to get news any day now, some PR about the rig coming in. Uh, they basically, uh, to, to speed you up on it, basically they uh, have like seismic... 3D scan of uh, where big amounts of oil are and we have reason to believe that there's a bunch of oil under there so this uh, stock could definitely skyrocket with some of this news before even oil hits so we're going to say this might go anywhere from 50 cent to a dollar I have a dollar call I got about 903 shares at about 40 cents and I'm hoping for the best I don't know how long I'm going to hold on but I might do a swing trade uh, I can depend on the call and just uh, sell early at about maybe 88 cents. I'm expecting something big to happen Thursday or Friday. If not, we're going to hear something very soon because they do have a chance of being delisted. But with all the money spent on the rig and with Vanguard investing, I don't really think they're going to be getting delisted during Corona times. You can get an extension. So anyways, uh, we're going to go dig in right now. Um, I would definitely uh, get Weeble if you don't have it. We'll uh, go ahead and put that. Uh, down there we can uh, have you get two stocks for free. I get two stocks, you get two stocks. Win-win situation. Basically, uh, they're going to amount to either $12, $12 to about $1,400. So, you know, last time I got Levi stock, uh, pretty generic, but still ended up getting a good 25 bucks out of that deal. Fancy little gold uh, packaging there. Cute. That's the uh, ticker symbol, just in case you can't see it. Uh, I'm in at about 40 cents, so 39 cents is also a really good price. Uh, it actually spiked up and went down. Shorts got squeezed out, something happened. But uh, other than that, I'm expecting news tomorrow or Friday. And uh, what the news is right now is these Canellis have been calling my name for at least a, I can't really tell you that, but at least a few days. So, if you look at this beautiful, delectable cannoli, what you notice is they have the almonds on the outside, as well as the almond glaze. Florentine style, whatever that means. Maybe something just means French, okay? Like a French style, but it's Italian too, okay? It's cheesecake. <sighs> Funny how cheesecake tastes like ice cream when you take it out of the freezer, it's great. Mm. Mm. It's literally like doing, yeah, it's like food porn, okay? Delicious. Mmm, wow. Now, if I were to add this to something, I don't know, it'd be pretty greedy. It's already good like this, you don't need to add anything else. It kind of tastes like caramel cone almost. They're frozen cheesecake inside. I mean, who doesn't love that? Anyways, Zion Oil and Gas, depending on how much oil they find later on, could surge it well over. Three, four, five dollars, twenty dollars, forty dollars and up. I'm not gonna keep on going, but it just depends on what they find. But yeah, expect big things. Uh, you know, if Vanguard's investing, you know there's something that's up. Yeah, I think they invested like two or three million. I think I could show you the 
picture of it. I mean, if you go and look through investing tools, you'll be able to find out who's invested in what stock or whatnot. So that's, you know, one way you can find out. Now I am taking a huge risk doing this, but the stock has stabilized around, I guess, 39 cent to 42 cent. Doesn't really go that far under since uh, the first news about them getting the permit to build the rig. So, and that shot the stock over up 80 uh, to 88 cents. So this next news it's gonna to have to be big enough to keep them de delisted. So I highly recommend uh, investing. Uh, I'm not a, in, uh, basically I'm not you know one of those uh, people you uh, take financial advice from, but I'm just letting you know, this is an amazing stock to invest in, in my opinion. Although one day I would like to be a financial advisor I'm trying not to eat them all because I'm just taking my time on this wonderful Florentine cone mm. good to the last Hmm. Something's very calming about eating something so good. Hmm. So what's interesting about this stock is the acres they have is about 99,000 acres. I think it's called a uh, Megiddo of uh, Jezbril or something like that, Megiddo. I know that Megiddo in Hebrew, the translation is Armageddon. So this is basically holy land. This is going to hopefully give Israel their uh, oil independence so they don't have to buy from other countries. Um, there's a lot of peace treaties going on right now as well uh, with Trump in the middle of it. So that's giving it a good sign that you know, we won't be going through uh, too many issues with uh, oil and gas and uh, who's going to be selling and buying. They're going to basically work together and make sure there's not a lot of uh, conflict. So that's good news as well. That's all the time I have, guys. Um, we'll put it in the link down below. If you don't have Webull, it's an amazing way to trade stocks. And you get the, you always get some kind of invitation to do some type of uh, promotion to get you free stocks all the time. They always got something going on, so they're always trying to give back. That's one of the reasons I like it a lot. So leave some comments below. Let me know what you think about the stock. Let me know what you think about these cannolis. If you're going to try them, because you should definitely try them. And yeah, wake up early in the morning and do some trading and... Uh, get to understand, you know, how to trade, you know, between time zones, you know, make up sure you wake up at the right time because the news could come on at three in the morning or five in the morning. You never know. So just stay tuned, Foodie Adventure. So just stay tuned, Foodie Adventure fans. And stay hungry. Well, stay full, but, you know, be hungry again. Bye, guys.